The second milestone of the Italian Navy's new near-future submarine, NFS, project has been delivered by achieving the System Design Review, SDR, Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation, OCCAR, revealed. OCCAR, an international organization whose core business is the through-life management of cooperative defense equipment programs, has noted that the milestone was achieved in accordance to the strict principles of the system engineering adopted for this design. The delivery of the second milestone was a very demanding activity, which required a conspicuous amount of effort from both internal and external stakeholders, including NFS Program Division. OCCARPMSD, contractors and industry. It saw nations support through its specialized submariner's skills, according to the statement. All efforts aimed at completing the required activities within the expected timescales and deadlines in order to comply with the baseline program schedule. After completing the SDR, the participants and stakeholders initiated discussions immediately after to address the Critical Design Review CDR. To remind, Italian shipbuilder Fincantieri and OCCAR signed the agreement for the construction of two next-generation U-212 NFS submarines for the Italian Navy last February. The Italian company began the production activities for the first of two next-generation U-212 NFS submarines last month. The U-212 NFS program, which envisages the first two deliveries in 2027 and 2029, responds to the need to secure adequate underwater spatial surveillance and control capacity. considering the future complex scenarios of underwater operations and the operational lifetime of the Italian Navy's four Soro-class submarines currently in service, is drawing near. The submarines carry out many different tasks for the benefit of the community on a daily basis, preserving national interests and collective defense within the framework of the most important alliances in which Italy participates, NATO and the EU. They range from purely military missions to operations pertaining to freedom of navigation, anti-piracy, keeping the energy supply routes safe, due to the presence of seabed resources or underwater infrastructure, observance of international law, fighting terrorism, defending external borders, and safeguarding maritime infrastructure, including essential offshore and underwater infrastructure, not least preserving marine ecosystems.